James Brewster is down and I've been the restoration architect and heritage advisor on all of the works here at the Melbourne Convention Centre property site and that includes the cargo sheds around us here and the old dry dock and its associated equipment. Well the sheds were originally managed by one organisation particularly through the 19th to 20th century that was the Melbourne Harbour Trust and so the Harbour Trust is the managers of all of the Port of Melbourne at that time always had a particular contract that to maintain the works and at one stage they painted the sheds all in the same colour uh, through one big painting contract and the idea has been to repaint all of the sheds uh, in the same colour to reflect the fact that they are all once one large complex. Well, one of the most interesting things about the walls were that they were all constructed out of timber, particularly the floors and the structures below the floors. And it was some of the best eucalyptus and red gum that you could possibly find in, in Australia. Most of the sheds above ground level had a, a, a steel superstructure that was then clad in uh, timber or galvanised iron. And again, that steel structure is all in place, and in many places, the original cladding is in place as well. I think the biggest challenge was realising that the only way we could actually keep some, some of the sheds was to dismantle them and then rebuild them, which is what we did for the, for the main sheds. I started working on the sheds in around about 2006 when we first uh, got the commission to undertake the restoration work. So it's been a, a five-year process, but it's been a lot of fun.